Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be walking through the Dollar General. And right off the bat, I saw this wall down this aisle full of spring items and I just had to share it with you guys. The picture that I showed above where we're looking now was so pretty and all of the decor pieces that I'm sharing now kind of go with that painting or canvas picture print. So those were tags, wooden tags, and they were only a dollar. They also had these really nice candles for $5, and they did come in several different scents. We have these smaller candles here, which came in three different scents. They're in like little mason jars. They also had these really nice wooden butterfly, either photo hanger, or I'm sorry, photo holders, or name tags. They did have several different colors. I thought that those were really nice. Those were also only a dollar. And then they had these really pretty glazed mushrooms in the green, the blue, and the blush. They have the shiny glaze on the top and then the matte base. They also had so many different choices of plaques that you could either put on a tabletop or bookshelf, entry hall. Um, they did have the larger ones. These ones were $3 each, but I did only see them in these two colors here that I'm sharing and the two different sayings. I thought that these were really pretty, the little artificial plants. Here are the smaller size that I showed above, but they also only have the blue and the green, so I'm not sure if they have any other colors out there. Um, I saw these really pretty wooden boxes with the stenciling of the plant. They were really nice. They had metal hardware. They were put together really well, and they were only $5. I feel like Dollar General's quality and the way the items look give me kind of like a Hobby Lobby feeling or even maybe a home good, something like that. Um, so they did have the two different choices in colors, the white with green or the green with white. Here are some really pretty glass candles. Again, I only saw them in these two color choices here. And these were also $5 like the other larger candles. Now they did have these two here in the blush and the cream color. These were $6 candles. I absolutely loved these tabletop calendars. I thought that these were really cute. They did only have the two choices in these as well. I love the brushed gold look on the hardware above that's holding the tags. And you see that these were only $5. I really can't believe the prices here. The quality seems pretty nice. They had these really cute succulent type plants. These were $3. You could hang them or set them on a tabletop. They also had these cute little dragonfly plaques. These were actually made of wood as well. They were on a smaller scale, but I thought that they were really cute. They did bring in a different color, so if you can see the burgundy color there, I thought that that one was really pretty. I really like that they added the detail of having the colored bead on the jute twine. I thought that that was kind of a nice touch. They also had these artificial plants in the ceramic base. These were only $3. They had this classic color, which is just the natural green. And then they also had this lavender. I thought that that one was really pretty. Now they had a huge selection of these decorative boxes. They have the Velcro that has the closure where you can close it. They had a lot of floral ones. These were really pretty. They were all different sizes. This one here was actually my favorite. It was Vintage Flower Market. I thought that it looked really pretty with the collection that they have here, but it is broken if you could see the little tag in the front. This box here does not have Velcro. As you can see here, I'm trying to flip it up like Velcro, but it actually just lifts off. Um, and it is connected on the back. Here are some more candles. They have a really good selection of candles and the fragrance is really nice on all of them. Um, I would say I don't know how long the burn time is or how much throw it has depending on the candle. They have these really cute initial plaques. Um, that you could just either hang on your wall or again decorate on a tabletop or something. I thought that these were done really pretty. They did have different details on each one with different colors, but they all did match that one butterfly canvas print. 
Now this has to be one of my favorite things that I saw there. And they did have different color butterflies, but I only thought they had the one. Um, now these are some metal signs. I really like the bee inspired one. I thought that that one was pretty cool. Those were $2. I wanted to give you a little closer look at these artificial plants. I thought that they were really pretty. They were only a dollar. They had three different kinds and the base is some sort of ceramic or breakable. I thought those metal pots were really cute or tin pots. I'm not sure what to call them, but I don't know how much these items cost here because they are on the very top shelf and I couldn't reach them. They had these cement type of gnomes and they're pretty heavy you guys but look at how cute look at the little girl with her braided hair i think that's adorable they also have these really nice hollow um, ceramic birds they had two different kinds all right you guys i lied when i said the other thing was my favorite because i think that these are my favorite they are so pretty. They are a glass canister. They had two different sizes. I did only see them in these colors here, but they have like a wood lid and a seal on them. The larger one's $5, the smaller one is $3, but look at how gorgeous those are. And then they also have these mugs. I absolutely love these mugs. They are so pretty. I would definitely buy the collection of all four colors. And then they had these cute little bowls to go along with them. Those bowls were only a dollar. Here is their collection of hot pads. I want to say they had four different designs. Each hot pad only cost a dollar. Now I do want to say that I have not tried the Dollar General hot pad, so I'm not sure the quality, you know, how well they work. But even if you get them for decor in your kitchen for springtime, I think that they are so pretty. And um, they also have these dish towels here that kind of go along with the designs of the hot pad. So you can definitely get them to match your decor in your kitchen. Okay, when I saw this glass measuring cup, I wanted it so bad. Look at how pretty this is with the flowers on it. It was only $3. Here is some of their other spring collections, and I just thought that the colors were really cute and vibrant, and it just reminds me that summer is right around the corner. I thought that these little towels were pretty cute. And then they had these plastic little, um, I wanna say they're more like picnic baskets in a way, or they have the two handles that pull up, which is pretty cool for only a dollar. They had them in these three different colors. They also had these smaller baskets. They come two in a pack, and these are a dollar as well. No, I lied to you guys. Those only come one in a pack. I believe the smaller ones are two in a pack for a dollar. They had these plastic spoon rests. They were a decent size. I believe these were only a dollar and they had the stripes and the floral to choose from, just the two different designs. I feel like that's kind of what they were going with with this whole collection here. They had these placemats, which are plastic, perfect if you were outside at a picnic table maybe, setting the picnic table up for a barbecue or something like that. I, that's how I picture it. <laughs> They also had these hot pads, but these are a little different. You just kind of hold on to this to lift up the pot handle off the top of the pot. They also had these in the floral and the stripe for only a dollar. And then they had this one, which is the floral one. And then they had one more kind of pot holder, which is this, which you'd slip on the actual handle of maybe like a sauteing pan or fry pan, which I thought was kind of cool. So they have that in the floral one as well. Then I saw these plastic plates, again, perfect for picnic time outside, or if you're going camping, these would be great to take along. Maybe if you have a pop-up tent, they did have several different designs here. I'm gonna try to share them with you. It's always hard doing it with one hand, you guys, but um, these are all the different colors and the, the designs that they had. So I'm not sure if they're gonna be coming out with you know more purple things or maybe the blue items and we're just seeing like the orange and the yellow. Then they had these little cups. Now, I'm not quite sure. I thought that they would come with a straw, but I didn't see any straws anywhere. 
They also have the two pack coffee cups here with different colors and different sayings on each one of them. And then they also have these sandwich boxes, perfect for your kiddos lunches. I did want to mention that all of this plastic is the thinner lightweight plastic that you do not want to put in your dishwasher. Um, then they have these really cool like foldable grocery bags or reusable bags. These were a dollar each in the fruit designs, which I thought was really cute. Strawberry, orange, lemon. I think they had watermelon and I do think they have a flower one here. Um, maybe it was from a different collection, but I thought that these were pretty cool. I have used these in the past and I really love them. They are a smaller bag, but they're pretty cool because they roll inside themselves. Then they had these little plastic sets of cutlery and they had different colors. They had a spoon, a fork, and a knife. They also had these cutting mats. There are three in a pack for only a dollar. You guys, this would be perfect to take camping or in your trailer, maybe a pop-up tent. Because they are smaller, they wouldn't take up very much room. They also had these really cute divided lid snack bowls, perfect for your toddler or your kiddos lunches. And then here are some plastic bowls. I don't know, I just picture these being great for cereal or something like that. I saw that they had the labels that you can use on your canisters that go into your pantry. They were already pre-labeled and they had spaces where you can write your own. Here are some of their choices in plastic canisters. They did range in size and price. They were a heavier duty plastic, which I thought was pretty cool. This one that I'm about to share is uh, cracked right there. See the crack? It was missing a piece. Um, but the larger one is five and then it goes down to four and three. I wanted to share this white metal basket and it has like wooden handles. I just thought it was really nice. That would look nice if you had it maybe in your family room with some rolled up blankets or something like that. Or you could even put books in there, magazines. And then I saw these cute little wooden bookshelf um, laundry room decor. I thought those were really cute. For only a dollar you can decorate your laundry room. They also have these signs here for three dollars. And then these nice like dust pans and brooms. I think they ranged from two to five dollars. Here is a wooden box for your dryer sheets. It also comes on hinges which like takes it up a notch but that was only five dollars. And to go along with that little dryer sheet container we have the I think this would be for like laundry pods, laundry detergent pods, but it is made of like a tin metal with a wooden lid. Here are some reusable wipes for a dollar. I believe four came in that pack. They also had these really pretty woven baskets and you can actually buy multiples and nest them. Now they are not sold in a set, they are sold separately. The smaller one on the inside was $8, this larger one on the outside is $10. They were really pretty. All right, moving on into the Valentine's Day section. I really thought they did well for Valentine's Day items. You're definitely not gonna find as much here as you do at the Dollar Tree, but you do still find things for a dollar, you guys, so it's definitely worth checking out. Um, here is a cool little scented sticker pack. They are smaller stickers, but perfect for your kiddos maybe to seal their Valentine's Day cards with, because they're scented. I think that that's kind of fun. They also had this magnetic notepad that you can hang on your refrigerator for maybe your grocery list or your things to do. They also had this little pack of foam fingers, came five in a pack for a dollar. Also these little pop it, heart poppers. Those would be fun for your kids to hand out to their friends. They did have this tiny little selection of gift bags here. And then here is a mini canvas bag with a sequin heart for a dollar. And then they also had the love design for a dollar. Next to it here are these really cute notepads. Now these have little wiggly eyes. They have the panda, the cherries, and they also have the ladybug. So I thought those were kind of cute and fun. You could put in your kiddo's basket or something with a cool little pen. I also saw that they had this little canvas bag that says all you need is love for a dollar. So it's one for a dollar, it doesn't come in a pack. 
They also had these cute little wooden hearts. These kind of remind me of the conversation hearts, but I love the design on here and the words. That one is my favorite here and they have love you more. So four different designs there for a dollar. Then they had the nice decorative boxes. They had all different sizes. They did range in different prices. The smaller one here is a dollar. And then they had this one as well. I thought that one was cute. They also had this one, which is a little bit larger, $2, that design as well. This one here is also $2. They actually had quite a bit of designs to choose from, which I liked. This one is one of my favorites with the conversation hearts. I love the pastel colors. I think that that's really pretty. This one was $3 and then the one behind it is also $3. And then we have the large ones. This one is super cute with the gold writing with the red background. I think that that's really nice. But this one has to be my other favorite. It's like a navy blue with the gold writing and all the little hearts kind of going from the center out. I really liked that box. Then they had these little packs of gummy bands with Valentine's Day cards. That was for $5 for each one of these boxes. And then they have their Valentine's Day cards. Now, the selection here that I'm going to share with you, these are $2. I think that they come with 12 in a pack. And all of these come with some sort of little toy. If you and your kiddos want to go the more traditional route, they also have the Valentine's Day cards with just the cards for a dollar. They come with 26 Valentine's Day cards. Now, I believe that they carried this last year or maybe the Dollar Tree did. I can't quite remember, but aren't these super adorable? Those would be really cool to give to your spouse. I thought that these were kind of fun. They did have the two different choices to choose from and they were only a dollar. Now this is definitely one of my favorite things I saw here, the black floating frame. It is glass. It was only $3 with this really pretty textured paper with the writing on it. I just love the simplicity of it and I just think it's super pretty. They had these tiny little gnomes. <laughs> I could not get this one to stand up, you guys. It was really fighting me on it. But I thought that these were okay. These were only a dollar. And then they had these character little thermoses. I can definitely see toddlers using this, but they had so many different characters on it. I love that they had Bluey here. I think that that's pretty awesome. They also had Paw Patrol that you can see back there. So many different choices to choose from. I believe these were $3. They are a thinner plastic, so I'm pretty sure you want to maybe hand wash them and not stick them in your dishwasher. But they had two different types, ones with straws and ones that you just like drink out of. Um, but I thought that those were pretty cool to share for a Valentine's Day gift. Now these gnomes I think are worth buying versus the dollar ones. These were only $3 and the quality was so much better. So the extra $2 is definitely worth it. Then they just had these little favor bags or treat bags. They came 16 in a pack and they were just the plastic bags. They also had these really nice cups. Um, these would be perfect for maybe your mom, your sister, something like that. I thought that these were really nice. They also had these plastic wine glasses. Again, a great gift for your best friend, your mom, your sister, your cousin, something like that. And then you guys, I hate to say it, but I think I skipped over the mugs. I looked at the mugs and I don't think I recorded it and I thought I did. I don't know what I did, you guys, but they had some really cute mugs. 
They only had those two choices and I think they were $3. Now they have all of these little craft kits. They definitely do not have the selection that the Dollar Tree has, but if you only wanna spend a dollar, I would definitely check out the Dollar General first and then go to the Dollar Tree if they're lacking at your store. But they did have quite a bit. They also had these cute little melty beads kits. These are pretty fun. My son did one from the Dollar Tree that he actually really enjoyed. It was a SpongeBob and it worked really well. They also have these cute little painting kits which I thought were adorable. All these little foam stickers are really fun. You can definitely have your toddler use these in a notepad that will keep them busy and it actually helps them with like sensory hand eye coordination things like that so always keep that in mind you guys i love these little clothes pins with the tiny little hearts i thought that those were absolutely adorable i always my mind always goes to junk journaling um they also had these little sensory squishies two in a pack they were valentine themed then they also had these little plastic treat bags they are smaller than the ones that i shared previously, but they did have several different designs. Then I saw these fake rose petals that were red and pink, so I thought maybe if you're planning a romantic evening, you can always use those if you don't have real rose petals. And then they also had these cute little plastic bracelets that you can put in your kiddos' baskets or gift bags. They also had three different designs of stickers and all of them were really cute. They had like an animal theme, they just had like this little food dessert theme and they were kind of like a foil look so I thought that they were really, really cute. Then they had this Jolly Rancher pen where you can choose all different colors just like in the 90s you guys. Now these just, I loved these. They did something else when they put the white lettering and the font looked so pretty. The heart actually has like a sweater fabric on it. I loved it you guys. This one right here, the hugs, is my absolute favorite. This was definitely another one of my favorites, how they did the galvanized metal with the red and the black love. And then this one in the back was pink that had like a rose gold love. So pretty, $3. Then they had these sets of towels. I loved the fabric that they used on this. And they had two different designs for this. It's a pack of two towels. One had the design on it and one was just a solid color for $3. Then I saw these really nice pom-pom garlands. And you guys, look at how cute this little wooden tic-tac-toe is. For a dollar, you can actually use it for the game or you can craft with it. They had these really cute pom-pom fuzzy pens and these little squishy hearts for a bag or a backpack or it could just be your keychain. Then I saw these really cute decorative wooden beaded words. I don't even know what to call them, you guys, but they are so cute. It says love. I'm struggling here to share it with you guys. They keep spinning. Then it has XOXO. I love that it has the red with the teal beads and then kiss. Those were absolutely adorable though. I really liked those. But that is it for today's video, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you haven't already, give me a subscribe, like this video if you enjoyed it, and leave me a comment because I always love to hear from you. But with all that being said, you guys, be safe, be blessed, and I hope to see you in the next one.